uh, YouTube. Hello and welcome back to my new tutorial. So it, uh, quite a while ago a user requested descriptions of our items. So when we click it in our inventory it pops up with a box and says this is the name, the amount, this is used for blah blah blah. So if we had wood it would pop up with a box when we click it if we click wood in our inventory. This is wood. You have two. Wood is used for logging, farming, blah blah blah. So I think I thought about it, it's actually really, really, really easy. So we're going to start by opening up our GUI inventory, or inventory GUI. And what we're going to do is look around, and we basically need this line here. So our tooltip, if you kept it in, if not, you can get it from the description of the codes box. If you copy it, and paste it above the drag window in on GUI, and just align it up. And we're just going to adapt this slightly. So instead of tooltip size X and Y, we'll say 300 by 100. And instead of GUI tooltip, we'll type this is our box. So what this line does is create a box, a GUI box, at the mouse's position with slight Y axis, and then 300 by 100 in size, and then put that text in it. However, we're going to change the if statement as well. We do need the if statement. So if we Remember where our box starts, it starts at minus 1. An array doesn't have minus 1, so we have to error check against that. So if grid value does not equal minus 1. So if it's higher than that, great. However, it's going to show this box if we click on a blank icon. So we're going to type and grids grid value dot image, but we can't put it does not equal null because our images do all our grids contain a blank icon image so it does contain an image so instead of image we're going to type dot name does not equal grid that's grid grid icon so if it equals grid icon it's not going to show but if it equals minus one it's not going to show either otherwise it will show a box saying this is our box so that's the start to the description so let's boot it up and we'll see that if we press i we click on things nothing happens and we click something and click on it boom this is our box perfect so it started to show it look and it follows the mouse until we click off perfect so we cross it off and it hides the reason we put it in the on GUI is because if we put it in do my window it's gonna um, be behind the box and if you try to drag it out of the box it'll hide so we can get rid of this tooltip now because we don't need it because ours is better so we've got this showing. Perfect. So let's begin. So we don't need a box no more, so we're going to type begin group. So we've now got a group. Perfect. Instead of saying this is our box, it's going to leave it blank. But I'm going to change the size of it to four, 300 by 200. See if that works. And of course, all GUI groups need to end, so GUI.end group. Perfect. So in here we're going to type all the names of it. So we need a label. Have we got a label we can quickly copy? That one will do. Take this and put it in here. Don't forget since it's in a group it's now got a new axis. So instead of name position we'll say zero zero. And instead of name size we'll say the size of the actual thing. So 300 by 30. In fact we'll say 40. So in here it's going to say this item is called in fact instead of is called we'll just put name name so what's the name of it it will be grids.gridvalue. dot and I believe it's the tooltip it's the name tooltip so the text contains the amount the tooltip contains the name name grid.tooltip then after we'll just put full stop to make it look neater so underneath this we'll put Move it down by 40. We might have to make this 50, but we'll keep it at 40 for now. So name, right? What we got? Amount. So text here. So you have this amount. Perfect. Now we need the description of it. So we actually need to get rid of all these. We might need to keep a full stop after. In fact, no, we don't. We can get rid of that. So instead of this, we're just going to note this out for now because we need to go to our item properties and add descriptions for it. I don't know if we've already done that or not. should be relatively easy to do, though. 
So, GUI.label, perfect. So let's try that just to see if it works again. It should work perfectly for now. You know, click, 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 nothing happens. So if you click one iron, boom, name, iron bar, amount one, two, three, four. Perfect. However, I think we should add a GUI box back into it, near it, so that we can do it. So it changes, stone, plain wood. That's palm wood, yeah. Perfect, so it's starting to show details about it. And we can move this up because 40 is a bit big, so 30. So, what we're going to change, we're going to add a GUI box, that was it. So we're going to type GUI.box. We've already got a box actually somewhere. Where was it? Hmm, I can't remember. Never mind, GUI.box, rect, and we'll set it to 0, 0 by 300 and 200, and nothing inside it. So it's the identical size of the group, and it should put like a nice little box there, so it's got a background until we create our own. And in there, come on. Perfect. Name, iron bar. However, it's a bit too close to the edge, I'm just going to bump it out a little bit. And I'm going to turn this size down by 200, 200, 200, 200. And I'm going to move it across, say, 10. Just so it's not right up against the edge of the box. So it's a bit out, and it looks neater. And then after this, we need to see if we've got item properties, which I think we have. Boom. Perfect. Name, iron bar, amount, two. Of course we can customise this one day and make it more neater, but for now we're not going to. So now we need to see if we've got item properties. So we're just going to type properties. So we have no properties, so item, inventory. So we don't have anything. So if we go to our add item and just see where it gets its data from. Inventory grids, here. Player inventory dot item mount. Hmm. Blank item, here we go. The new item. The textures. Where's the textures? Player inventory. So apparently we need to find something called player inventory. It's been a long time since we've messed with this. Perfect, found it. So, the best one would be to copy this ID and paste it down here. Boom. Instead of item ID, we'll call it item disk. Desk stands for description. So, we've got five here, what we already know. So, in here, we could type each of our descriptions. I suggest you put it like this. So, after every comma, you put it down. Because then you can just type in a line and it doesn't look so bad. So oak wood. Oak wood is used for crafting and designing weapons, buildings, and hmm. armor. Um, I think that's it. So we can just copy that for all woods. So wood, blah blah blah. Stone is used for crafting. Right, so we can just place it again. Iron bar, same again. Apple is used to heal the uh, character and for cooking ingredients. Because we want to put cooking in one day. I know that's probably spelled wrong, please don't flame for that. I'll spell check it after we've done. So they've all got full stops, make sure you put full stops after to make yourself look neat. So, now we need to get item desk and somehow store it into the grids icon. Hmm, best way to do this. So if we go back here, yeah, I know how to do it. So where our grids are here, Instead of saying GUI content, we'll type grids desk and we'll make this a string. Perfect. So in here, what we're going to do is add 
all our descriptions to support the grids. So if grid 0 equals iron, grid desk 0 will equal iron description. Because that's probably the best way we're going to get around it. Because we need an array like GUI content, but I don't know anymore what's in one of the three. But this will work. So in our add item here, we need to look everywhere it says um, adds to it basically. So here we'll type GUI.grids item, but we don't need grids no more. We need inventory.griddesk i equals player inventory dot items players amount we don't need that we need item desk i dot two string we don't need two strings it already is a string so that should update it hopefully so item dot text plus equals one that should already work here we put player inventory and then instead of that i will put that there item add added so we just copy and see what it does so that should work perfectly but there's no re well we could actually test it if we go back to our character as you can see there's no there's an error 49 i know where that is and around here we've kept i so we change it to a ray grid so that will be in the description if you don't understand it Basically, it copies exactly what we did here. So, if you watch the inventory window, you'll most likely understand this bit because the inventory was actually more complex than this. But it should be relatively simple. If you haven't used the amounts or the name of it, you can actually put the description in there. So, there's no need to create a new variable. But since we're using all of ours, we need a new one. So, this is where this will be. So, we've created 40. We've got to make sure we create 40 grids, else we'll get an error click play and you'll see we get nothing then we collect an item and we'll start updating boom 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 perfect create some stone perfect look at that works like a charm so click it we can see each one we'll eventually make it so it's on top of it I thought that would have done it by putting it above it here but it decided not to work there so it's time not to work, don't matter, we'll find a way around it. So, in here again, our description, we'll get rid of this, and we'll type grid desk, grid value, just like that. But we need to make sure this size is right, so every time it, the text it hits 300, it'll automatically go to the next line and sort itself out for us. The general rule will be to not make your description super long, but if you can't help it, then it doesn't really matter. But we'll try and help. Try to avoid it. Click. Look at that. Ooh, we need to move it down. And across. So iron bar is used for. So obviously 300 is too big. So we've obviously got to bump that down. Actually, we changed everything, didn't we? Uh, 60. 240. Yeah. So just adjust the numbers make it look nice what was I going to add yeah I want to put an image on before we end the tutorial so you can see a slightly bigger image of the item you have because I think that'd be cool so you click it and you can see the mini item and then you can see the big item click 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 iron bar is used for but then it does, does it just cuts off so we're going to make this 40 say 100 and the 200 to 180 just so it's just indented a little from the end so it's not like chopping it's not right up to the actual edge and we'll try again come on boom ok so that's the side oh I know why it's not Wait, no. Okay, I don't know why that one's not working. That should work. That should cut it off, but okay, we'll figure that out another time. Hmm, where shall I put the image? There's no real place to put an image. We might have to rearrange this one time, but we'll find a way. Find your house style and tick word wrap on the label. Yep, that's it. 
So if we click it and we go over to an item, you can click and it word wraps it. And if you click off it, it doesn't word wrap it. So it works perfect. We obviously have to make the label bigger, so I'm going to go back and increase the size to 200 and see if it fits the time. We do need to take the text size down, but we'll carry on next time for that and we'll try it again. Oh, I'm tired. And it's almost there. Buildings and armor. Full stop. So. Almost there, we need to take our text size down slightly, then it will work perfect. So, see you next time.